Welcome to the LuxRiot VMS video tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the process of installing LuxRiot VMS. Here we are at the LuxRiot website located at www.luxriot.com. You can download the latest version by clicking full featured LuxRiot demo link or by going to the blog by clicking link above blog header. By going to the blog, it will show you the latest version released, what was included, such as new features, cameras, improvements, and fixes. Scrolling down will show you download links for full installation package, client and server, client side only, codex only, and a debug version which is installed if directed by support. You can also search for older versions of LuxRiot VMS in the blog. Let's begin the installation. We will install the full package installation file downloaded from the LuxRiot website. Choose your language, then click OK. This will start the LuxRiot Digital Video Recorder Setup Wizard. Please click Next to continue with the setup. Click Select to accept the agreement, then click Next again. Now this is where the LuxRiot VMS application will be installed. Usually it's located in the LuxRiot Digital Video Recorder folder in Program Files folder located on C Drive. In this part of the wizard, we'll show you the different components of LuxRiot VMS. The first component is the LuxRiot server application. Checking this will install the main server component. The second component is the LuxRiot broadcast server application, which will allow you to view and playback video streams managed by LuxRiot through the web browser on mobile devices, PCs, and Macs. The third component is the LuxRiot client application which is the viewing application that allows you to control, view, and play back the LuxRiot server locally and remotely. The fourth component is the LuxRiot local connection, which is an LXD file which saves client configuration settings. Then we have the LuxRiot quick start guide. Select your language, then click Next. This is where Setup will create the program shortcuts in the following Start menu folder. You can click Browse to select a different folder, or click Next to keep the existing folder. This is where you can select options for icons. After selecting options for icons, click Next. This will then bring you to a setup summary. Click install to install the software. When installing, LuxRite will scan to see if there are existing databases from previous LuxRite installations. If LuxRite finds an existing database, it will prompt you to click yes to use the existing database or click no to overwrite the database and create a new one. After installing LuxRiot, the LuxRiot Digital Video Recorder Server Setup Wizard will pop up. Click Finish to run the Setup Wizard. The first step in the Setup Wizard will show you the server identifier, title, and where the configuration database will be stored. Click Next to move to the next part of the wizard.
This step will display administrator settings such as username and password. You can leave this default or change to your liking. Click next to go to the next step. This part of the wizard will show you TCP connections for client remote applications. You can leave this default 60554 or change to a port of your liking. Click next to continue. The next step in the wizard is the server execution mode. There are two modes in which you can run the server. Application mode, which will run the server as an application, or service mode, which you can run the server as a service controlled by the service manager in Windows. Click on the box to use the software watchdog if unselected, then click next. Depending on which mode you chose will allow you to start in either application or service mode. Service mode is recommended. Click next to finish and complete the wizard. This concludes the process on installing LuxRite VMS.